This is why narcissists stalk you. When a narcissist stalks you, it's because they've chosen to treat you as being most important. They've chosen to treat you as a priority. Even though you may not be relevant or appropriate to them, they have invested their time and made the effort to where they end up fixated on you, to where they can't think about anything else because they've developed an obsessive attachment to you. When really, it shouldn't have anything to do with them because it's outside the parameters of an initiative. It's outside of their duties and responsibilities. So it's not something that they should be concerned with. But every abuser or stalker has an excuse. They have a reason or explanation to justify their wrongdoing. To where they can show it to be right or reasonable. But it doesn't add up. Because there is no reasonable or logical explanation for it. It's all coming from their emotions. So they have lost contact with the external reality. They have a mental disorder. They've created these ideas in their minds. These justifications for why they do what they do. So they lack self-awareness. They lack conscious knowledge of their own character and feelings. They lack the ability to focus on themselves and how their actions, thoughts and emotions do or do not align with their eternal standards. So they don't think they have a problem. This is how they can engage in these behaviors so eagerly and enthusiastically as though they're possessed by an evil spirit because it doesn't make any sense. It's not bringing an advantage to them. It's not helping them to progress in accomplishment or achievement and yet they're investing so much time into it while it doesn't serve any purpose for them. But it's because they've developed an obsessive interest in you. Which is why they will try to establish as many connections as they can to you. They will try to be wherever you are. They will stalk you on social media because they're restless they're unable to relax as a result of their anxiety. Because they always need to be aware of information so that they can have influence and control over you. And you may notice that a lot of their feelings and activities are connected with their desire for sex. As though they have an intense focus on sexual fantasies, urges and behaviors because they're unable to control their sexual impulses which is why this becomes the center of interest and activity. But what you're seeing from them is only the tip of the iceberg. Because a lot of the things they're doing are behind the scenes. But they can be over as well. Because they get off and giving you hints that they are stalking you. So they will give you indirect indications or suggestions, a small piece of practical information or advice. They like to play peekaboo. They like to show you that they're still there because they have plenty of time in their hands. A lot of them tend to be unemployed, so they have nothing else to do. They have nothing more significant to them in their lives 
which is how it's so easy for them to develop an obsession with you because they have no purpose their lives are not meaningful so they're bitter and resentful they're full of regret and they direct that towards this particular purpose and it then becomes the energy you feel when they give you hints or when they show you that they're still there because they're not working on themselves they lack accountability which is how they can act so childishly and immaturely because they're emotionally underdeveloped When if they would just put that time and energy into their own lives, they could actually become something. And then they wouldn't be stalkers. So they're just failures. They're people who have a lack of success or non-fulfillment. They're also very weak because many stalkers see their targets as a threat. They feel vulnerable or at risk. They feel threatened by your power and strength. So they try to control you, but they're actually just trying to control themselves. Because they've already lost what little strength they had by becoming fixated on you. So by intimidating you, they're trying to gain power and control so that they can feel bigger, stronger and more badass than they actually are. But this is inside their heads because they're very delusional. They have these mental propositions that are asserted with high confidence but it lacks a basis in reality. It's a misconception resulting from their incorrect reasoning which began their organized course of action. And these behaviors all point back to a mental disorder. because otherwise they wouldn't be investing their time and interest into it. They would be more fixated on themselves. They would be more focused on their own purpose. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.